what did we just see? I gave you two ambiguous messages. One was um, different than the others, and usually when people get different messages between what you do and what you say, people follow what you do. And in leadership, we see that situation every day when leaders tell us something, but they self-behave in a different way. And psychologists have known this effect for a long time. It's the basis for imitation learning. Um, there's been lots of research on this. But now neuroscientists can really tell us the mechanism behind it, what's happening in our brains and why we behave that way. Why do we follow behavior? And for 10 years ago, there was a researcher in a lab in Parma, Giacomo Rizzolatti, and he, um, he was studying motor activity in the brain. What is motor activity? When you decide you want to take an object with a grasping movement, and only monkeys and human beings can, can do this type of grasp. Other animals, they can take stuff, but they do it like this with a fist. And he was studying how the brain prepares for that movement before, when you decide to take that pen until you um, grasp it. And what happens is he has a monkey sitting on a chair in a laboratory. In front of him is a bowl of food like raisins and nuts and monkey food, interesting things. So to motivate them to grasp things with that movement. And they could isolate neurons that would only respond to a grasping movement, but not when you grasp with your entire fist. So what you have is you have an electrode here in the monkey brain and the motor cortex, and whenever the monkey grasps with that movement, you will hear a sound from the amplifier, and I think I can do it for you here. It's like this, actually. So whenever the neuron responds, you get a sound for each electrical activity. And um, you might think we are leaders here, that why, why do we care how monkeys eat food and grasp objects? That's interesting for neuroscientists, but not really relevant for us. But 10 years ago, the monkey had a break, was sitting on a chair with his arms crossed, and the student came in and was hungry and took from the monkey bowl with a grasping movement, a nut or something. But after time, you lose, you know, you eat from the monkey food, you don't care anymore. I've been working with monkeys too, I know this, you, you, you don't care so much anymore. And suddenly, they heard the sound from the amplifier. And they were wondering what's going on. The monkey isn't doing a thing, but still his brain is active. And this was the moment where they discovered the so-called mirror neurons. What are mirror neurons? They are active when you do something, a certain thing, but also when you see somebody else doing the very same thing. So mirror neurons are actually the basis for empathy in our brain and for communication. And I think any normal scientist who's very busy would have thrown away that data and just thought, let's send the monkey to a holiday. But instead, one of the most important discoveries in neuroscience has been made through this mistake. And today we know that empathy is something we are born with. You don't need your mother to tell you be nice to the other children, then you learn to be social and empathetic. We have a system in place in our brain that helps us to uh, instantly feel the way other people feel. If you're sitting here in this class and there's somebody very happy and cheerful and this person might spread this atmosphere in the entire room because we all um, constantly have our mirror neuron system on. It's something you can't turn off. As soon as you're surrounded by other people, your brain is constantly picking up what other people are doing and mirroring their activity in your own brain. And that's how you as a leader, your behavior and especially um, your behavior will have a great impact in the organization because what they found and now mirror neurons are studied widely in human beings. They started with monkeys but now today there's lots of research on our mirror neuron system and what they found is that when you have a great relationship with somebody your mirror neurons will respond more strongly to that person because um, we make a difference. People we like we pick up more easily I have a baby at home, she makes eh, and I'm running, you know, I, I pick up every little change of mimics and whatever people will say, whatever she has, I don't care. And the same is for leaders, when people are high in the hierarchy, people are more attuned with their mirror neuron system to these people. So you people really will change the way people feel around you just by being there. Um, today's session is about leadership and the brain. Um, 
The mirror neurons are just an example of new insights that have changed the way we look at human behavior. Um, many of the theories from psychology have been revised based on these new findings, and today I'd like to talk about two things. First, um, I'll give you a little overview of how the brain works, just very high level, just the most important thing for you to know as a leader. I think if you had wanted to study neuroscience, you would have done so, like I did. You didn't, so I give you a really high level overview of 